Hello folks, uh, we've been speaking about CAD preparation and what should people focus on for a long time. And we get, I get a lot of questions from people saying, I'm here, what should I do? And then I realize that people are in very different starting points. There are some people who, who, are, who are, suppose we take the quant section, there are some who are typically getting 34, 35, and they want to say, how am I going to get 45? There are some who are getting 10, 11, 12, and they're thinking, how do I get to 17, 18? And so on, sometimes we give uh, blanket gyan, improve your speed, improve your accuracy, learn from fundamentals and, and strive for the best, keep your spirits high, have fun. All of those are correct, but uh, we, we, we are speaking to one audience and, and the, what person here should be doing, and what a person here should be doing, a world support, a world support. So we are going to focus on one specific thing and say, if you are here, what's your target, intermediate target, immediate target. And so, and I'm making it one point, I'm saying I'm not going to create a strategy to go from here to here to here to here to here. If you're getting 12 marks, then talking about the ideas of getting to 49 marks are absurd. From here, we look to go here. If you're here, how do we go here? And suppose you are very comfortable, you went travel from 12 to 25, and then now you're thinking, okay, what do I do here? Then we'll worry about it later on. And it's not one, one gradation from 12 marks to 50 marks. And I'm not kidding anyone by saying we'll give a chart, a path to go to. It's not a 99 percentile in 25 days video. Right? So we're not doing that. Right? So let's start with this. This is where large, lot many people are there, less than 15 marks. And the first aim is to get out of that. And the strategy is super clear. Uh, limit your topics range, limit your number of questions. And so amp up your accuracy. When you're here, chances are that you're, you're shooting for, you're, you're getting 14 marks, every likelihood they've attempted 12 questions and you've got five of them wrong. And so that's a, that's a mess. That means you're not sure about where your marks are coming from, you're flitting from one question to another, you're marking an answer choice without really processing it, without evaluating, you don't know what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. If you're here, less than 15 marks, then forget about trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, functions, permutation probability, number theory, reminders. Uh, inequalities, polynomials, all of that. Throw them out. Say percentage in profit and loss, averages and mixtures, ratios and proportions, speed time, races, pipes and systems, work and time. If you are comfortable, then go to progressions and logarithm. Even they are half a step away. Get these topics in the back. You, will, you can pack yourself to find seven questions from these topics, arithmetic topics. And you can say, I'm, my entire paper or mock is these seven questions. I'll have them in the bag and attack. And that's seven questions, you should say I'm getting all of them right, or if one doesn't fall in place, I leave that, I'll attempt six questions, get all of them right. You need to do a bunch of mocks where you consistently attempt six questions, get all of them right, in the bag. Feel the confidence that, hey, this is doable, and then get out of here. Super important to narrow your topics range, narrow come dramatically to one zone. Work on that, even if those questions are tough, Hang in there, finish them off, then go look to expand. Don't attempt lots of questions here. Attempts have to be dramatically crashed. And then you say, okay, I'm not, not bothering with uh, so many different topics. These topic, get them right. 18 marks, 18 marks, 6 out of 6, 6 out of 6, 6 out of 6. Do it for 3 marks. You get comfortable here. Then your mind can say, what else can happen from, from here? Okay? If you're in the 15 to 25 range and you want to go here, that is you're getting 22, 23 marks, then you want to somehow get to 30 marks. That's what you're, you're aspiring for. 30 marks, that means you have to attempt half the questions or more. Here, you need to add a set of topics. You need to say, look, I'm comfortable with arithmetic for sure. Arithmetic has to be in the bag. Arithmetic scarves a route for 10, 11 questions and 90th percentile in quant. And that is an absolutely crucial part when you're talking about quant. Arithmetic has to be in the bag. But if you're saying from here, I need to go here. I want to have 32, 33 marks as part of my target set. Then you have to have to add geometry, algebra, or number theory, permutation probability into the mix. My preferred thing would be geometry. You've got to say geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry. I'm comfortable with this also. Then you have a your, your go-to place has to be arithmetic. Arithmetic in the bag. I'm so comfortable. I've done enough practice. I've consolidated this many ideas. And then I'm going and attacking geometry also. Then you're good to go. Suppose you're going from here to here. The moment your aspiration crosses the 40 mark level, then your room for leaving topic and all is zero. You have to do everything. You have to do 
arithmetic, algebra, geometry, number system, permutation probability, set theory, the whole shebang. You can leave, leave one odd thing about three dimensional geometry or some fancy thing. You can say, look, this one idea I am not comfortable. But otherwise, you can't leave topics if you want to get 45 marks. There's no way at all you can leave topics. So, your topics, everything have to come under range. From here to here, speed also comes into the picture. You have to do a bunch of time tests. You need to automate processes. You need to say, the moment I see a quadratic equation, I, can, I know how to solve. You need to get to an idea like that ultra quickly. You need to be able to scan a mock and then say 22 questions. Each question, I'm going to say the method and know the method immediately. Then automate how much ever you can execute. And so from here to here, limit your topics. Here to here, add geometry. Here to here, no gaps. You have to do everything. Here to here, no gaps. You have to do everything and work tons on building speed. So somewhere if you want to get 50 marks, 45 plus is 50 marks also. If you're getting 50 marks, chances are everybody gets maybe one or two wrong. And so, so 50 marks, your route to that is probably 18, 19 questions and one or two wrong. If you're going 19 questions in 40 minutes, you need to be firing away. There are going to be two, three questions that take time. So everything else you're, you're looking to attempt within a minute and a half. So you need to do tons of speed building from here to here. You need to be effortlessly cracking questions and so intense without a drop at all from here to here. From 50 to 60, a whole different ball game. I'm not going to get into that. And 50 to 60, you need to be on fire throughout. No fatigue, no tiredness, no getting tired in the middle of a question, no uh, silly errors, no topic gap, nothing. You're not looking to select questions. You want to get 58, 59 mark, you're attempting everything. You can't pause and say, you can say these two questions, I'm coming back later. You cannot say round one, I will do 10 questions. No round one business. If you're aiming that high, then one round, you're finishing 18 questions. Maybe you have four questions that you have marked, two more you attempt, two more you think about. There's no round one, round two business at, at that level. So I'm not getting go too deep into that. Here to here, limit your topics. Here to here, definitely add one more preferably geometry. Here to here, no gap in topics, attack everything. You need to be very comfortable. Here to here, tons of work on speed building because you need to attempt 17, 18 questions. 17 questions, 40 minutes, not easy. Lots of work on automating process and doing things really quickly. And hopefully that helps. But particularly wanted to do this to focus on this. If you're not comfortable, if you're getting 10, 11, 12 mark, then our inputs about learning from fundamentals, covering all the bases, making sure you're, uh, you have a strategy towards 90th percentile, it's all absurd. You need to find six questions in every paper. That's a priority. Everything else comes later on. Your accuracy needs to go very high, number of attempts needs to come down, number of topics needs to come down, and you need to spend time getting that. That's super important. Get that, because otherwise you have no control over the section. If you consistently get 9, 10 marks in quant, you're going nowhere. Fix that before thinking about broader, greater ambitions. Best wishes. Hush.